Yeah, it smells like nothing. Literally nothing. Which is good, right? Butchers shouldn't smell like stuff, right? Or should they? Hi, I'm Hetty Hunt. I'm a video producer here at The Spruce Eats. I live in Brooklyn, New York with my fiance and our two cats. And today I'm gonna to show you inside my refrigerator. What are your general feelings about your fridge? Just tell me about your fridge. All right, so my refrigerator. I've lived in New York City now for almost 12 years. I've had all different kinds of New York City apartment refrigerators, from the super, super skinny to the ones that get really messed up and your landlord doesn't ever replace anything about it. This one's probably one of the better ones I've had, although there's parts of it that need to be fixed. I wish I had more space, um, which seems silly if you look at it, you're like, wow, Heidi, you have a lot of space in there. Why would you want more space? And it's purely for more beer. My fiance and I are really big beer enthusiasts. That's like part of the main reason I think we're getting married. <laughs> and I really wish we had one of those racks that you could slide drinks onto. So then if it just becomes, the bottom of our refrigerator becomes a beer haven. I guess I wish I had a beer fridge, like a smaller beer fridge. But if like I can't have a smaller beer fridge, I want a bigger fridge. Like a beer vault inside the fridge. Can I have that? That's a good feature. Somebody make that. Dream refrigerator would be double doors that you just like open up like that. And it's like, oh, freezer on one side, fridge on one side. I also, on the doors, I want a screen uh, so I can watch TV. I really like to watch TV when I cook. That's probably the most bougie thing I can think of that I would want in terms of a refrigerator. That would be sweet. Favorite food item right now in my refrigerator? Magnificent sauce, Magnif sauce? Magnificent sauce from Trader Joe's. I got this recently, I saw on Instagram. I followed many Instagrams that break down Trader Joe's items and I found this one and I love it. Usually I would make a Mac sauce myself, but this is basically a Mac sauce in a bottle. My fiance loves pickled jalapenos. I am kind of a wussy and they're too hot for me, but these are the hot and sweet ones. And I haven't been able to try these yet. I'm just gonna try them just to see. Okay, well, he liked them. That's really sweet. <laughs> oh my God. We are sauce central over here. It's sauce city. It's out of control. If we're grouping condiments, salad dressing, sauces all together into one category, if I could only have one forever, it's mayo. <laughs> and it's good mayo. It's not like cheap, low fat mayo and not off brand mayo. It has to be Hellman's mayo. There's nothing else. If you like Dukes, get out of here. Like, I don't care. I've included mayo as part like of a veggie dip tray before. That was bad. Don't do that. I really do love mayo though, I do. And I did dip, we used to dip veggies in it sometimes. It was bad. Mayo is my favorite condiment, but if I were actually a condiment, it would not be mayo. I would be light ranch. Classic flavor, light on calories. Zesty and classic, so I would be light ranch. Okay, expensive or fancy items. We splurge on cheeses. Like cheese is worth it, a good cheese is worth it. Now, there's a cheese in here that I really like. My fiance does not. Chavu. It's goat cheese and olive oil. I really like it. It's pretty intense, but it's also very oily. So it's not like you can just put this on a charcuterie board and go to town with it because the oil will go everywhere. My hands are literally so oily right now touching that. <laughs> Blue cheese, like I will eat this as a snack on its own. Like I'll measure out a tablespoon of it and I'll eat it. Don't do that, but I will. Top cheese in my fridge right now, blue cheese. One, two, three, four, five. Different cheeses. Oh, and cream cheese. Does cream cheese count as cheese? Yes. Okay, cool. Like a lot of people, I let things expire. And that's okay. It's just like, I need to clean out my fridge more. I have an idea of what's expired in here, but I don't know everything that's expired. So we're gonna go on a little uh, adventure through my fridge. So I know for sure this is Bloody Mary mix. Oh, that's not expired. I thought this was expired. F yeah. Oh, this is expired. This is heavy cream and it's only expired by four days. Yeah, that's bad. I have also a jar of condiment packets. I don't know. I literally have no idea where this is from. I don't think I made this all expired. I've never opened this before. That's how old this is. Eh. Oh God, they're just all Cholula. It's just a bunch of Cholula hot sauces. I mean, there's no expiration date on these. <laughs> there's an expiration date. 10-10-2019. What did you spray? It smell like? This is a weird question. I mean, has anybody ever asked you what your fridge smells like? It literally smells like nothing. And I don't know if that's because I did clean a little bit before you guys showed up, like slightly. Ow! Oh! Tons of ice trays are 
really big about ice trays, all different kinds of ice trays. So like, big guys, little guys, the Titanic. If you don't have silicone ice cube trays, you're doing it wrong. And then I have the best things in the whole entire world. I have Eggos, I have Popsicles, I have Trader Joe's frozen orange chicken, I have frozen french fries, and I have whiskey. All the best things are in the freezer. Cheers. We have a, a problem with power berries. And so we always need to have two bags of power berries. So we always have like a his and hers. We'll never be fair. Like he'll eat the entire bag and I'll never get any. I get frozen dumplings. Like I try to keep these fresh any way possible. I keep them in their bag. I put them in a Ziploc and you know, airtight, and put them in the freezer, but they always just like tend to be freezer burned or go soggy. If you guys have any tips to help me fix this problem? Like how do you guys store frozen dumplings after you've opened the bag? Wow, I got a lot to throw out after this. <laughs> My go-to snack is pickles. If I ever want something to eat, it's not really making a snack. It's just like, I like to eat pickles. I'm really upset because our grocery store got rid of the really big jars of pickles. In New York, they're really hard to find. My grocery store had them. I was living the life. And so I got a smaller regular jar of pickles. Oh my gosh. Do you guys know this trick? When you have a stuck jar, I don't need to go call my fiance in the other room because I'm a strong woman and I don't need a man to open a jar for me. You just put a rubber band on that lid and open it up. And if you guys don't know this trick, now you're gonna know it and now you can do it and never have to ask a guy again to open a jar for you. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be upset. I can't get it. <laughs> no! I just get Walker in here and Walker just opens it. <gasps> oh, you got it! I spoke. Yee! See, guys? You don't need no man. These aren't great pickles. I did it! Alright, well, that worked out. That was good. <laughs> Whose fridge do you want to see inside of? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and share and subscribe to the Spruce Eats for more videos. I'm gonna go throw out all these expired items and I hope you guys have a good one.